Good morning, guys. It's a little windy out this morning, um, but we're on our way to our first hike. And so we kind of missed the sunset. We were kind of driving right at sunset, so we decided to stop and grab some pictures of the mountains because you, you can see, like, out that way there. They're nice and pink. So um, Ben's gonna get out his camera and grab a few shots and then we're gonna continue on our way to the hike. Um, but honestly, it's just, I feel like every time of day is just like so beautiful here. So it's, uh, it'll be fun. It's definitely windy and it's definitely colder than it was down at the bottom where our lodge is. But um, yeah, so we're gonna get some photos and continue on our way. Ready? Ready? Yep. Yeah, it's pretty packed. Alrighty, so we're on the trail, already breathing heavy. We're at about 10,000 feet. And, uh, 1,511. Yeah, to be exact. Be exact. Yes. So we're gonna take it slow, take our time, going up to three, three alpine lakes. So that should be fun. We already stopped to take off layers because I anticipated it being like super windy and cold, but the trees block a lot of the wind. So yeah, we got really hot really quick. So now I'm down to two layers instead of three and Ben's down to like one or two. How you doing? I'm good. Yeah? Yeah, not cold, not too hot. Definitely out of breath most of the time, but it's good. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, I'm starting to feel that 10,000 feet of altitude, which is crazy to think that like Denver's a mile high, and we're coming up on like almost two miles high. We're not quite there. We've probably got another thousand feet to go to be two miles high, but that's crazy to think that. Oh, and the other thing, it's like Everest is twice as high as this. So more than twice. No, it's like 21,000. 29,000. Oh well. It's three times as high as this, so that's absolutely insane. I don't know how people do it. That's about like what, two feet deep? Yeah, don't step off the don't path. Don't step off the path. I think this is lake number one. It's a little covered in snow and a little frozen, which is what we expected. I think it's nymph lake, right? Yeah, it's nymph lake. Everybody and welcome to the first lake of today. We kind of bypassed Bear Lake, so this is our first lake. And this is Nymph Lake, kind of standing right on top of it. This is crazy. You see the view? Yeah. It's really wild. You can see the wind at the top moving some of those clouds along pretty quick. I don't know how obvious it is in camera, but with the human eye, it's really obvious. These trees are really saving us from a lot. That's a cool tree. This is so cool. Yeah, this is actually pretty amazing. We just saw the coolest bird. It's like 
It was kind of like a blue jay on steroids. It was huge and it had like a black head but like a blue like patterned body and the way it talked. I've never heard a bird sound like that before and I don't, we'll have to like look it up and like see if we can find some audio of this bird or something because I have no idea what kind of bird it is but it was very cool. And hopefully we can insert a picture. Yeah, we did get a couple pictures so hopefully they turned out good. <laughs> I'm very happy for my crampons. They're definitely a lifesaver. Yeah, I would have fallen a million times by now. I think that's the lake down there that we came from. But this view is just absolutely stunning. Yeah. Can't really see around those mountains there. I don't want to walk too far because I already got myself in like four or five feet of snow. So I don't think uh, I don't think it's a good idea. All right, Kayla. I guess that would make sense that we came from down there. Yeah, I think we, we wound all the way up. It was at this moment that he knew. So this is where we messed up. We went off the path in the wrong direction for about a half mile. Luckily, we had our GPS with us, and that really saved our butts. Now back to the video. Can you see how deep it is? It's up to my knees. Ugh. Snowshoes required. Gore-Tex shoes, paid for them, so. They look like the ones that were on your wall. I know, they look fake. Her shoes are like so perfectly marbled. I think he likes my red jacket. Maybe. Cool, but it's really cold. So we gotta go uh, to the next lake before I freeze. This is so cool. Yeah. You can see the water lines from the lake in the summer. Oh yeah. I'm sure you probably can't hear this because the probably wind is so not. bad, but hopefully when we get to the other side, it won't be as rough. Time to zip back up. Yeah. It's gonna get cold. So we're almost to the top, or at least third lake. We're now above 10,000 feet, and I'm feeling it. Honestly, it's kind of hard to talk and walk. Maybe as I get a more acquainted with the altitude, it won't be as bad. See you at the next lake. My little bird buddy, he keeps hanging out. I've seen a few of them. This is just absolutely incredible. cold up here at, I don't know, 10,000 feet. So, and the wind's really whiffing down the mountains. So I think we're gonna head back. That was the last lake. So I think we'll get maybe a few more shots on the way back down, but- We might stop by Bear Lake at the bottom if we uh, yeah. feel up to it. Yeah. It'll probably be warmer, so we might feel up to it. <laughs> yeah, and, and if our legs are still good by then, I guess we'll catch you back at Bear Lake. Absolutely insane.
want to point out how narrow this trail is. Some, like in some places, you've got like a rock wall, just enough room to fit your feet, and then it widens right back out. So that little rock there, right straight out. That's exactly where we came from. Where we hiked all the way down. Probably about what, a thousand feet, fifteen hundred feet down. I'll have to look it up and we, well maybe we'll put the number in but hello everybody welcome to Bear Lake um, it's not as impressive as the other three that we saw today but it's kind of like a fourth bonus lake yeah I do recommend if you're gonna do this like long hike you do Bear Lake first because it just gets better and better and then once you get to like Emerald Lake mm -hmm. and then you come back to here you're like it's nice but it's like the other ones are way better right <laughs> yeah it's, it's honestly really hard to compare to it's, bear lake it's probably the biggest emerald lake bear lake is definitely the biggest yeah. but it's really hard to compare yeah emerald lake was just and dream lake both of those were just amazing yeah absolutely outstanding so also bring crampons or bring snowshoes because yeah if you're here like basically probably any time between like november and now we saw someone wearing Doc Martens and was really struggling. struggling. So, so, yeah, fashion sneakers. It's not just that it's not like... Not the vibe. Yeah, especially after the second lake. Everything's not as compacted as much. Yeah. All right, we'll see you when we get some lunch. Well, the parking lot is absolutely slammed. We got here at like, what, six, seven? We got here at like seven, and we were like the one of the first ten people here, and it's just it's people are struggling slammed. to find a parking spot. Now... This, boys and girls, is why you get to the park early. This is kind of what the parking lots look like, too. Not too shabby. We stopped a lot to take uh, photos and videos, so we took our time to enjoy the views. This barbecue place was recommended to us by our hotel uh, hotel managers. <laughs> I guess that's a good name for them. Um, and so we went and picked up some barbecue for lunch after our hike. I got uh, like, it's like a barbecue wrap with like beans and rice and sweet potato fries and then thank God, pulled pork sandwich and fries. So it looks delicious and it should be good. All right, so it's been quite a few hours since we picked up the camera. We went to, we went, we got lunch, you saw that, we got some barbecue, and then um, we kind of took a nap and relaxed for a little bit, did some planning, and then we went out and got some coffee at Kind Coffee. It was pretty good. It was pretty good, I liked it. It was really busy. They have some really cool stuff in there though, so and I did. they closed at four, and, and it, like, we got there like 20 minutes early. Yeah. And like, there was people coming in like, yeah. almost until the last minute. But now, we then we made some dinner back at the apartment, and now we're going back into the National Park, and we're gonna go to, it's called Moraine Park. Um, hopefully we're gonna get to see some wildlife, uh, cause it is near dusk. Should be fun. So yeah, we'll take you with us. It only happens when we get out of the car. I don't know why. But the views are great. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's take a walk. The light's actually really good. Yeah. Welcome to wildlife spotting with Dunn and Kayla. <laughs> yes, we are on a mission to find some wildlife. We've already found a lot of deer, um, a few birds. Ben was is very happy with his deer shots because he was not happy before, but he's happy now. Yeah, there, there was a, there was a <laughs> lot more clear today. The ones that I had taken yesterday had like a lot more grass in front of them. We're trying to look for some elk. Yeah, um, elk. Moose would be amazing. Moose. Probably not going to happen, but yeah. and and sheep, th there's goats. also sheep and mountain goats. We're on the lookout for those. Um, they typically come out near dusk or dawn, and it's dusk, so 
we'll drive around for probably the next 40 minutes and <laughs> take some take in the views and hopefully we see some wildlife i call those clouds ufo clouds because they look very weird i don't know if you can see them So we finished our um, evening drive and we saw some deer and we saw some elk at the last minute. Yeah. It was pretty dark. I don't, I, yeah, we got a little bit of video of them and we tried to take some photos, but I'll tell you the, it was so dark by that point. It's kind of a shame that we didn't get to see them before then, but. Yeah, we'll put some footage and stuff of what we got in here. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it for us tonight. Hopefully we can, we need to plan out what we're gonna do tomorrow, but that will be in the next vlog. So um, we appreciate you coming with us on this adventure. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. And I think we'll see you on the next one. Yep. To be fair, we came from that side of the lake and it did not have a sign that said stay off. But I don't know if that really applies. <laughs>